Hey you guys, Melbourne International Comedy Festival is in full swing and I hope this gets to you fast as my show, The Enthusiast, finishes this Saturday, the 8th of April. It is at 7pm at Fort Delta and it has been the most fun. So get on down Plus, we have another late night I Love Green Guide letters on Thursday, the 6th of April, with three big names killing it at the Comedy Festival. Our 250th episode is Saturday, the 8th of April. We've got Ash Williams and a few surprise guests off the television. And then we return after Easter for a late night show on the 20th, the Thursday, and our final podcast of the festival, Saturday afternoon at 4pm. All the tickets can be found at comedyfestival.com.au. And now, on with the show. Hey, you guys. Welcome to I Love Green Guide Letters, the podcast where we talk about the letters to the eight newspapers, television, radio, <laughs> without the Green Guide. <laughs> Halfway through that, I just remembered I've heard this podcast before. I know how it goes. <laughs> I am Steel Saunders, and I do love those Green Guide letters. <laughs> We are at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival up late. It is like several minutes past 11 o'clock. We've never podcasted at night before. This is crazy. We're at the Exford Hotel. I don't want to borrow a term from the other podcast, but it is truly a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Seriously, you guys. I, I, I do stand up here now and again on Thursday nights and... Um, it's scary. I always say over there, like, look, how gnarly must a venue be when they've got an upstairs morgue? That is, <laughs> that is crazy. That is a visual joke, so enjoy that on the Hertzbridge line. Um, that'd be great. But uh, we're at the Melbourne National Comedy Festival. We've got our first uh, late night show, and uh, we're going to have a good time. I did my, um, the first night of my enthusiast show. Forgot the name of my podcast, or I, I called my podcast. I'm very tired, okay? I'm going to bring on some guests, and uh, then they can talk, and they'll say something dumb, and then I can hang shit on them for that. And podcasts, that's going to be great. Um, we have got uh, three of our um, favourite guests to uh, enjoy the Green Guide Letters with you tonight. Sorry, I've just. Catherine Canine is in the front row and she's got pretzels on her dress, and that was very good. What? That dress is amazing. What is it? It's, it is. It seems very against what you would do. That is very debaucherous. You've got a lot of gambling, you've got darts, you've got pretzels, you've got cards. Have you changed, Catherine? No? All right, I just think this is Catherine after dark, and she's uh, she's got a darker image at night time. Don't let those school kids know. Let's bring up our guests. We have got one of our all-time favourites, one of the all-time mega has been on so many episodes from the beginning. Please welcome Bart Freeman. <laughs> The pioneer of the oh. shirt nappy, it's Dura Jai Singer! Oh. And a man that is only ever on the podcast when I'm quite delirious, all the way from one, and it's Gordon Southern! Steel Saunders. Steel Saunders. Steel Saunders. Steel. I remember my name, guys. It's yeah. Steel Saunders. 
It's hey, Green guys. Guide Saunders. It's your real name. Oh. Green Guide Saunders Wars. Okay. Well, just when my name couldn't get any more wackier. Yeah. Your middle name is Stand Up. Yeah. <laughs> Green Guide Stand Up Steel Wars. Why did I have Bart on this episode? <laughs> no good. Well, that I'm, I'm not actually here. I'm in your mind, chasm. <laughs> yeah. I, t- I see Bart lol. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I've had really weird dreams because Jackie's back in the country and she wants to catch up on uh, Australian television. So what's this show called, Wonderland? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were like, uh, Jackie's back in Australia and she wants to catch up. I'm like, and you're complaining? Like, <laughs> my <laughs> wife who I haven't seen in a while. When she wants married, to catch up. I gotta uh, see her. It's uh, a drag. So bad. Oh, that's married life, isn't it? Oh, after a few years. No, it's years. not. It's great. <laughs> Is it great? It's great. It's not like, oh, I've missed you, you know, so much. I've been waiting to ca- catch the rest of this box set, but we stopped at episode two. So mm-hmm. I held off because that's love. And now I've waited and I've actually seen episode three behind your back. <laughs> I you got to watch the traitorous uh, yeah. the viewing. You tra- you're watching it and you're going, oh, this bit's great. I mean, nothing. <laughs> I had a dream about this bit and the man died. <laughs> I wonder if I'm correct. Well, Jackie often will watch them together, but she'll fall asleep. She has a little nap. She fell asleep during Force Awakens. I mean, to be fair, I fell asleep during Rogue One, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can talk about when she sleeps, not you, Dill. I don't yeah. care. I don't care how good you smell. That's not even a visual reference now. That is just an in joke between you and me. <laughs> Sixty podcasting. I, I personally like how Dill tastes. I like, how, I like how he feels. Right on his balls and anus. <laughs> what? My anus does taste delightful. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. What did you say yesterday when you were tasting? You said it's like a chicken. Uh, a, a, <laughs> All flesh 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 like I don't know if you can translate hungry wolf, but <laughs> if you can, it was, oh, this is quite nice. <laughs> Delicious. And this is why we don't do them at 11 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've branded this as a. Uh, late night. Up late. Up late. Up late. Yeah, Green Guide Up Late. Green Guide So this oh, yeah. is where you get to see the, the, the bits that they couldn't yeah. show in the regular Green Guide. <laughs> so, so far, regular stuff, yeah. we've had shitting pants. Oh, is that like when they have home and away nights? Because we, get, yeah, we yeah. get all your shitty soaps and they go, home and away, but now with flames on the trailer. What? And it's like, oh, there's going to be one boob and a fire. Yeah. <laughs> what, release... what, what do you mean by shitty soaps? Sorry. <laughs> Check where you are, brother. Okay. Uh, if you don't love it, fucking leave it. Um... <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Welcome to the irony hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> irony? I yeah. think this was, isn't Dill the Grand Dragon? <laughs> I am just grand... reclaiming Ramsey Street as yeah. well while I'm at yeah. it. <laughs> Dill Rock's new high fiber diet. Fuck off, I'm full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming here and taking our seats at Lassiter's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Metamuscles. The Meta Muslims is what I was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meta Muslim. Yeah. Like, so, I do yeah. love that you're calling out our s- shitty soaps. Yeah. And that sentence was hard for me, admittedly. Yeah. But um, you were the one that got the Lassiter's reference the most in the room. I Yeah, because uh, I used to watch it. <laughs> this is a confession. I used but when to. I, no, when I was at university, it was on at lunchtime and then again at tea time. They showed the same episode twice because... <laughs> tea that's, time. That's, sorry. <laughs> Mid Arvo. Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> we place it between test matches, obviously. <laughs> so I would sometimes watch the lunchtime one, and then when my friends got back from their lectures, I'd already have lots of witty, spontaneous comments, <laughs> much like you do when you when you sneakily watch episode three of a box set, and then you say to your wife, "Oh, <laughs> funny reference that I just thought of," and you hadn't. You'd been up watching it and yeah. writing He's gags. Workshopped it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh wow, you are really overselling my free time, my friend. <laughs> so what? What happened with Wonderland? Oh, so we're watching this show, Wonderland. <laughs> What's it about? It's about a, just a bunch of like 20-somethings that live in an oh, apartment. Yeah. It's like um, the Melrose Secret, Place. Secret Life yeah. of Us, but in so, Sydney. All right. Mm. But, right. And with Brooke Satchwell. All right, I don't know who she is. You don't know Whoa. who Brooke Satchwell is? No. Someone threw I think, you for Brooke. I think my life is great that I don't. I think that's a really good thing. I don't know who she is. She was on the show with Lawrence Mooney. Oh, I'm so glad. I just don't know. It's excellent. I love her. 
Like instead Sorry. of that, Did instead, that come of out her, loud? instead of not having her in my head, I've got a unicorn that's just on some sick decks, just tearing it up. <laughs> like that's what, just fucking scratching. That's How what's do you in do my that head. With the who? Well, it's fucking magic, isn't it? <laughs> DJ Hoof Hoof. <laughs> and the rainbow spines. The hoof hoof doof doof. Yeah. Wow. So I, n- I don't normally watch normal television. I like mm. I like watching. Pretty, yeah, you mean. I like watching people in space or battling cowboy robots. Yes. Oh, did you like that Clint Eastwood film Space Cowboys? Because that merged those two Exception things. Exception to the rule. Exception right. to the rule. Yeah. And so I'm not used to watching shows about. Drum, like it's like I'm watching a show about the people that live next door. And what if they were much. robots? I don't think they are. But what like, if that's a big reveal? If it's simulation theory and it's not in this reality, <laughs> you know? man, you're just looking at it too plainly. Yeah. You know, their skin might be made of something completely different, like silicon, and you're just taking <laughs> them for granted as normal humans. Well, parts of Pamela Anderson are. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if she appears in it, then, yeah. yeah. What and about if one has a robot? Are you talking about my neighbours or the people on Wonderland? Both. Well, aren't they the Everyone. same? Everyone. Por que no dos? You know? Yeah. Why not have both? Sorry, uh, we've just done a Brexit. We'll have no Spanish, thank you. Oh, we've left. Yeah. From now on, me casa, me casa, su casa, su casa. Do you get it? <laughs> I dated a su casa. Uh, what? She was a lovely girl. Su casa. She preferred yeah. to be called Susan Suzanne. House. Yeah. Susan House. Yeah. Always, got, always upset people at the bingo. <laughs> Do you say house at the end of the bingo? Or do you say bingo? Again. Just say fl- flipping bingo, mate. Don't fuck around. Uh, if you don't love it, you know what to do. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like Bingo! You... Yeah. <laughs> who, who knew that the, 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 the poster boy for Reclaim Australia was this guy? Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> it's baffling. But, uh, yeah. So I'm watching Wonderland. Oh, yeah! <laughs> ah. What's it about? <laughs> What's it really about? It's about a simulation in my mind. Uh, <laughs> they're all at a concert hosted by a DJing unicorn. Great. I'm on board. Sounds great. <laughs> that Sounds is a it. wonderland. It does actually seem to fit with the title the better. The title better, yeah. Because yeah. you think of Alice in Wonderland and the shit got crazy there. It's so you know crazy. I mean? Like yeah. people are, that are cards, mm. there's dudes having tea parties. But it's basically that skirt, the book. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look. It is. <laughs> but Wonderland to me sounds like a really shitty theme park. Like, you thought Luna Park was disappointing. Try Wonderland. Wonderland. Yeah. The, uh, don't worry, you'll be enjoying this show in London in about five years. And it's going to be huge. Because Wonderland is coming to the UK. No, you mean this years. podcast? All, all, shitty, I think podca- all shitty soaps end up. Just floating over to the UK. Slowly, and, like yeah. sea mail, yeah. not air mail. Like, no, no, yeah. don't, don't pay. Just yeah. <laughs> that, that sounds like a good gender pronoun, sea mail. Sea mail. Yeah. <laughs> For someone who transitions yeah. into a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to identify as mermaid, so I don't yeah. use the ladies or the gents. Yeah. I just need you to fill up a paddling pool and I'll, yeah. and I'll well, spawn. If, if you didn't want to identify, wouldn't you just be mer? Yeah, I would say you'd be a mer. Oh, that's really because human, but also man is the yeah. male. What about oh, if God? You were, it's a bloody minefield, isn't it? If you were a, fl- a giant flying bird person, you could be air male. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's okay. That's it. That's all I got. That's <laughs> so maybe so we yeah. can take Watching it further. Wonderland, right? Yeah. <laughs> what would you think Wonderland has? <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine swings. Yeah. Like as a theme park, like come on the mighty swings of gravity. Is that uh, all you had as a child when you were? Uh, no, I'm just thinking of a your, shitty. I just gave you open, like you know, blank slate, whatever you Dude, picture as a wonderland. Dude, he's watching Neighbours twice a day. He's <laughs> lucky to have swings. I was, I was, I was. I don't anymore. Because if you're in England, if you go outside, you get chased by swans flat out. Yeah, that's what? It. And like that's the, the Sydney from, team. From one tea house to another, there's giant swans chasing you around, and, and they the hiss queen, at you. They hiss. They queen, don't. Yeah, she's like that. the chariot. <laughs> what are you getting chased by? John. It's a swan. It's a swan. It's a swarm of Thank swans. Thank you, one Aussie hip hop fan. <laughs> oh, man. Aussie hip hop. I, I kind of appreciate the only one of you got it. And That's the, collect- the collective yeah. noun is a swarm of swans? Swarm of swans. Swarm of swans. Is it really? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> well, because you have a lot of fun facts. 
I do. My show is called Fun Facts, so I should yes. know the collective noun for swans. Is your show really called Fun Facts? It's called That's a Fun Fact. What's your favourite fun fact about your fun fact? Fun um, well, that would, that would be joked out of my show, but one, one of my favourites, uh, fuck you guys, is... Do your show. Yeah. Do your show. <laughs> Free your show. taste. Tapas tasting menu. Um, coral reefs are formed from the dead skin of snorkelers who went looking for coral reefs. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, and unicorns can DJ. The, the, is, that, <laughs> is that the little spiky bit? Is that where they put the needle in and it just oh, yeah, uses that a, as, a, the, as a sort of uh, fantasy stylus? It's an extra needle, definitely. It's yeah. not as effective. It resonates with a different field. I think it's electromagnetic. Yeah, it's mostly yeah. colours. Yeah. So you can hear yeah, the colours cool. of yeah, the color field. hip-hop. Photons. This doesn't feel like our plate. I um I think we need to get some. No, because in the UK, Open University Bill, is on us, up late. So tell this us would your be latest a crazy physics. sex story where you fucked a bin. <laughs> that will fully make it up late. To, to be deal, fair, to be honest, deal. It's cold up late. Yeah. Because I was hoping hot dogs would turn up. Ah. Yeah. Is that a euphemism? Because I can depend right now. It's yeah. more of a not quite no, a Kransky. No, it was about a, television's very own Simon Deering. Simon uh, Deering. He's apparently cleaned his act up. He's apparently a married man, kids, happy dude. Not getting blown that, in an alleyway by two girls anymore. Yeah, I don't think he's acting. <laughs> two girls, dirty. one hot dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> so did you turn up in that alleyway, see that he had all the ladies, so you fucked Fuck the, the bin? bin. <laughs> just, what's left? Recycling bin. Dibs fuck it. Bin. Give it a yeah. go. Uh, no, I didn't fuck a. Well, I did fuck a bin, but it was a, a Muslim guy named Bin. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Doesn't that? That seems like a Kiwi guy called Bin. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bin. It's much. Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin, the Muslim Kiwi. Yeah. I'm risking a lot. I'm, I'm risking a lot on this one, but Osama bin Hardon. Hey. Uh, no, Osama bin Laden. Uh, yeah, he bin Laden. Good. Osama um, bin Kamen. <laughs> Okama, Okama bin Laden. Fuck. Kamen uh, bin Kamen. <laughs> Saddam <it>? come. <laughs> Good respect, guys. He died in 2011. Oh, he did. Osama bin Laden. Osama, yeah, right. And then they buried him at sea. Well, he's or did now, they? he identifies did they? as a sea male now. So. Well, and now he identifies <laughs> as sea <laughs> male. <laughs> he's alive and well. He can only breed with drones, the irony. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool if you could fuck drones and make offspring. If you were, that great. would be air mail to actually get the drones and get up there and fuck them. Yeah. Man, you, you go, jump out of planes just with a like, dinger on, like <laughs> looking for drones. And no, just take... No dinger. Why do you need the dinger? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Just, I'm thinking about safety when you're jumping out of a. Yeah, if it's the wrong thing. <laughs> I mean, you could use the dinger as a parachute, just rip it up. Because no, you have the dinger on until you engage with the drone, because the air can chafe. You get air chafe on you. So you need to fuck them mid air, though. Oh yeah, you got to catch right. them mid air, fuck them, and then jump, pull the chute. Right. I, I can't believe someone is doing data entry while listening to this. <laughs> but, but the great like, thing, if you do take down a drone. With your uh, sex, yeah. while it's flying over Pakistan or wherever, yeah. um, you could stop it destroying a Muslim wedding. So it's a circle of life. Well, no, but you don't know how much, how hard he comes. Essentially, like, you, just, <laughs> you, you, thought, you thought a bomb attack was bad, <laughs> but getting just so on this by bus. Happy is, lady woo! in. Dil, you were saying that with a tone of post traumatic <laughs> stress disorder. <laughs> You don't know. It was how stressful hard it the comes. first time. So hang yeah. on, there's a lady at a wedding in Lahore. This is the happiest day of my life. She no dro no drones have blown us up. And then she goes, coffee, Bart! <laughs> That's right. I just think if I fuck the drone right, instead of it shooting its next missile, it'll shoot my offspring, which will be a half drone, half Bart. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. That'll land and just. Not know, Navy SEALs, to... but Navy seamen. Yeah, that's right. I'll get up to mischief. Bonkers. Probably. So I'm watching Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not used to these emotional shows. Like, they're like one, this girl's like cheating on her husband with oh. this guy at the cafe. And so I'm not used to opening up my emotions Heart to... Heart chakra. Yeah. And it was affecting me. So I'm having nightmares about Wonderland. Yeah. And it's, it's too much. So I'm, I'm off. I'm going to yeah. write into the Green Guide Letters. To complain about my dreams. Because you were, what, dreaming of getting cheated on? No, I was just dreaming about 
how miserable all the people on this show are. So it's not no. a Wonderland, it's an ironic title. It's a fucked land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucked land. Yeah, but would, would adultery land be that popular? I'm now picturing the scene where you go, I'm so sorry, darling, while you were away, I watched episode three of that box set we were watching, and she went, oh, I fucked Steve. And like, oh, that's so not the same. What actually happens, though, and you're not going to watch it, so I'll, I'll reveal it. Uh, she, so, thought that she was cheating, but it's actually a robot that he built to seduce her and fuck her on the side. So she was just fucking a robot that he made. So it was for her? Yeah. Well, he I was, mean, He was ripped for her pleasure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So he made this man robot just in the shed, and then he just he's just webcamming her fucking it, and then... Oh, is that what he's into? Yeah, yeah, and he's got rockets set in its legs. Is that still getting cucked, though? Is yeah, that come under being getting cucked? You're kind of cucking yourself. Yeah. Aren't you? It's e cucking. Yeah, e cuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good show. So, would, would you it, be. Big twist. Would you be into cuck holding? Well, okay, so the biological term of cuck holding, yeah, there's a, it's a bird that rolls in and, and pushes the cuck? egg. What is cuck? Cuck is a term that the alt right sort of brought into the mix when Donald was doing the primaries. I just think it's cool because it sounds like fuck, but it's not. <laughs> but it's essentially some a cuck is someone who is raising someone else's kids or is happy to have someone else fuck their wife. Mm, that's the version I know. But, oh, so you are cuckolded, hence the horns, yeah. bit of Shakespeare, and that that's the sign that you have been cuckolded. Yeah, but right. I'm pretty sure it comes from uh, like there's a bird called the cuck, or like there's a that's cockatoo. No, <laughs> no, I think. Well, yeah, no. So it. it's an evolved cockatoo called the cuckatoo. Is it like? Wouldn't that a... be cockatree? Cocker, well, yeah. <laughs> Cocker, it's Cocker 2.0. <laughs> this could be fun fact o'clock. I think it might be a derivative of the cuckoo that steals the nest, which already has other That's chicks exactly in it, and I'm gets you at. to raise that chick as your own chick. That's the original. And then the cuckoo fucks off. That's the original goes, You know, I'm going to live in a Swiss clock. I don't give a shit. Because you're raising... It's kids as your own. Yep. Cuckoos live that's in Swiss it. clocks. That's what they so do. So that's the original cuck. <laughs> you don't understand how confused I am at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's so, get a diagram out. Well, I'd say that it's just a, it's a fucked new fun time word that is just a way of insulting someone on the internet. And it, on a, that's. This is like QI, but shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, like QI. Back in my day, we <laughs> tweeted, you're a cunt, and we loved it. Yeah, so this is just, you're a cuck, and people will go, oh, some people will be particularly like, oh, I'm not a cuck, I'm a cunt. <laughs> you're two letters wrong. Yeah. Turn that CK into NT. It does sound cool, though, cuck. Cuck also is Spanish for shit, I think. Like caca. Oh, oh, cuckoo for cuckoo. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> is that is that Coco Pops' new brand? That's a Faith No More song. Off King for a Day, Full for a Lifetime. I only know Shannon. Thanks, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> so. Do yourself a favor, get a coffee. Yeah. Oh, man, I could... <laughs> I'll be reacting to many jokes to on its way. Yeah. Steel, Steel's on LA time. <laughs> it's a, it's a, we're Skyping Steel right now. Yeah. That's what's happening. <laughs> uh, what, so have you had a long day, have you, Steel? Yeah, I did the show today and it, yeah. just, it just took an You talk for an hour. Who gives a fuck? Like, you should be more energetic. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just being uh, what's the word? Tough love. Because literally Steel and I were sharing... How t- I like war stories back there. Now I've just turned and on you. And now you turned on yeah. me. You're just, just gathering intelligence. Yeah, up late. The side of people we don't see normally. Which is me getting angry apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Main deal. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. was, was, is it everyone's first night tonight? It was. Second for me. Ooh. Oh, Are you experienced? Ah. Uh, <laughs> we were about to do a, like a racial walk accent. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I want to see. So you weren't, gonna, you, weren't, you weren't about to do a wog accent. No, I wasn't. You were going to do a, a racial wog accent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. As here. opposed to the non-racial ones that I <laughs> somehow have created in my yeah. head. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, oh, I don't know. But I could be like, oh, my God, I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> my skyline is fucking sick, though. <laughs> I live with my mum. 
<laughs> you hit the trifecta. I don't. I haven't actually met a lot of those dudes recently. Oh my fucker, god! I don't know if they exist. I think they're a dying breed. Yeah, yeah. they all yeah. they all transition to females. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Going back to the home country. Fuck the water. Imagine cold. being a seamel. You take six to eight months to come. Yeah. I know this because I send documents back to the UK and they take six to eight months. Fun fact. All right. <laughs> Imagine take six to eight months to shudder to climax. <laughs> It'd be take ages. Yeah. Be catastrophic oh, when you finally. I, think, I, I feel like I'm on a tantric journey to get what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> so I've got a, a community service announcement. Yep. Thank you. I finally. may have to run and vomit. <laughs> oh, that's, that's an interesting. That's that, our no, that's interesting that happened to me. Like after the show, I had a mad spew for no particular reason. What? Nando's maybe. Ah. So if I run off, then you guys can be like vomit, vomit, and yeah, I'll be in the right. toilet being like this. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, so what, what was your last meal before that? Uh, before Nando's, I had lunch. I just had, like, some, like, mince, like, fried rice. Oh, and you, that was fine. So you were thinking it might be the Nando's? Something like that, yeah. But I Nan, feel okay. Nan, Nan, don't. Mando. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I feel okay now, but I might be like, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, quick, yeah. which, uh, which Nando's? The one on Burke? Or? Just the one there, yeah. yeah quick right. question, because in the UK, Nando's is like renowned for being full of uh, bodybuilders who just go there and go, oh. I want chicken, no carbs, just chicken, no no, no chips, just so, chicken. Yeah. So, so Nando's in London yeah. is the opposite of a podcast crowd in Melbourne. Yeah. I guess, yes. Yeah, it's, it's big, roided up guys who just want to uh, eat chicken and, you know, I can't even cook because otherwise I, I'll have less time in the gym. Because here we just got, I've got a pretzel on my skirt. <laughs> Mate, I love platens, I love, I love big patterns, I love Frankie magazine, I love fucking knitting shit. <laughs> I love fucking culture, I love expressing myself, I love badges, podcasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess and there's not much of a Venn diagram crossover, big weightlifting guys who go to Nando's and people who do crafting. Yeah. It's like, you know, oh, it's so fiddly. Oh, well, smash, they're crafting smash. their bodies. Yeah, I was going to say. They are in a way. Yeah. yeah. It's muscle macrame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? I'm an artist. What, do you, what kind of artist? Sculptor. Yeah. What kind of sculptor? Yeah! <laughs> Look know, at these! That's the you. new thing. Have you seen the, the, the... Have you got the tickets to the gun show? That's the new version. Oh, uh, yeah. If you ask some bodybuilders that, they would genuinely say that's what they were. I'm an artist. I'm a sculptor. I sculpt my own body. No way, because I, I, I did briefly a... have a personal trainer. He died. Um, but <laughs> did, <laughs> did he really? He would, no, I'm kidding. I'm just I'm pointing oh, at my guts. Like you like ate a, him or something. A little yeah. joke. Like, bah, 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 bah. Oh, you I'm can not train in great me shape. if you can bah, bah, bah. me in a fight. But he was I one of those... I there's only one trainer available. Yeah. He's died, so I gave up. He, he was gone. one of those uh, <laughs> like inflatable people. And I went to an event. I was in Brighton, and there was a in a community centre slash church... I noticed that everyone was walking around sort of Velociraptor style and they were Muscle. painted golden. Yeah. Mother Nature will find a way. And, and it turns out yeah. I'm in the middle Never of a girl. bodybuilding contest for over 50s, so they were kind of weird looking, like they'd been flayed oh, alive. Yeah. And I was with my mate's boy who just come from... It actually sounds like a heart attack talk. Wait a minute. This yeah, it does. <laughs> Let me get this out before I die. His kid was playing Nimpopo, which is like martial arts for children, oh. non-violent, non-competitive, non-hierarchical. Can you please not use any words that Bart made up? <laughs> <laughs> Nimpopo sounds like good martial art. Anyway, this, this, this kid sounds like he's, sitting in a room. He, this kid sat next to me and go, Gordon, I should quite like to be a bodybuilder. I said, you probably won't. It's a lot of work. I'm ha I'm happy to do the work. And this kid was trying to, and I said, don't do it. Oh, and I managed kid? like seven. Wow. And Why I said, are you at a bodybuilding competition with a seven-year-old kid? <laughs> Why are you telling I don't like to think about it too to much. sculpt their bodies? Well, no, I was trying to dissuade him from a life of bodybuilding. Because you liked his body the way it was. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> Gordon Southern. Oh, Why did God. I try and complete your entire anecdote? If Why? I wasn't going to vomit, I will now. <laughs> Where's oh. Darren? Where's Darren? <laughs> I, I, love I just you think just the way you if he's are. seven, he's still building pretty solidly anyway. That's just well, what he's growing up. Growing is, right? up, yeah. yeah. 
So, okay, so, so you were dissuading him. And I tried to dissuade him. I said, no, it's a lot of work. You don't want to... I don't, didn't want... Because I was left with him for like 20 minutes while Dad got the car. I didn't want Dad to come back. Did you have a good time at the church? Yes. He's going to be gonna seeing be... psychologists about that 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've persuaded your kid to be a bodybuilder. I'm so sorry. Did you say yeah. church? It was a church slash community centre. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. What is... Wait, so you're with a seven-year-old boy in a church... And there are topless men walking around, lathered up in gold paint, and we're not meant to react? It's not... You want us you to let you finish this story without butting in? I'll be honest, officer, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Someone should call the Nimpopo on you. <laughs> this, this podcast doesn't normally have sound effects, but boink. <laughs> Was that erection? <laughs> Was that an emoji as a sound? Sort of, I suppose. That makes sense. <laughs> it does. Those I'm not going to get are... all these references. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So let's finish the story. Hopefully, I let's can't. make it less culpable. Yeah. So, God, okay. you were watching Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> and they cut away to this bodybuilding contest in a church. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen Wonderland. Speaking of Wonderland, oh! it's with this seven year old boy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what John Mayer was singing about? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> don't, don't change your body, it's a wonderland. <laughs> your body is a wonderland. <laughs> So the new thing we learned well, no, about Gordon... It's great that's that's, Gordon. No, that's, that's, that's great. a fun it's fact. Great, it's great that Gordon's here because for years, you know, we've been importing our pedophiles like Rolf Harris to London and it's good to have one back. Uh, <laughs> you think this is an exchange scheme? Yeah. <laughs> uh, while I'm about it, I'd like to launch my new range of didgeridoos and electronic keyboards. That's what he did. He came to the Uber. I, I should explain, by the way, that in the 80s, and I was around... Oh, you're going to be doing a shit ton of explaining you uh, no i don't because uh, australia sent us all the shit you didn't want you sent us well Paris, Paris. you sent us fosters some of us had to drink both Some's it was so. a, <laughs> it was a challenging yeah. time <laughs> anyway i managed to persuade him not to be a bodybuilder yeah. I we said, sent you adam hills not all of him <laughs> Is the rest coming by sea mail? No, he, he left One his... leg! Who wants one leg? No, no, he, he left his heart here. That's got nothing to oh. do with it. You oh, God. Cruel piece of shit. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> You're throwing ableism into your pedophilia now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ableist oh. motherfucker. You ableist son fucker, clearly, not yeah. mother. Yeah. Um, oh, and apparently so you're going to be the next. The lights are just getting brighter. Aren't <laughs> they? <laughs> Come towards the lights. I'm um, yeah. now. So I you think... persuaded him to not be a bodybuilder. So there's all these muscular priests benching this seven-year-old boy. <laughs> it's exactly what happened. It escalated and so they've quickly. Got, they've, like... got, they've got gold dicks. <laughs> I like to think of them doing pull-ups on the cross. Just yeah. Like, um, well, how do you think Jesus got so ripped? He's so fucking ripped up there. Yeah. He's the one who started bodybuilding. Well, he wouldn't even like Jesus. He's like, don't feed me the wine. That's, yeah, that's yeah. empty calories. Yeah. Just sponge it near my face. Fish. He had an, inter- he he had an interesting diet. He survived on one fish. Fish. For a thousand yeah. meals. Yep. Yeah, man. Getting ripped. Mm. <laughs> my, my festival run was ruined late on the first Thursday night. <laughs> You don't Gordon Southern, this, podcaster, and bomb. now incarcerated for paedophilia. I imagine, boo! And then, a, you know, the comedy police come and... Was that a police me. vehicle or just a... <laughs> that was, was a, a police... No, that was, was a police, police vehicle, vehicle fan. They saw a police vehicle and they're like, woo! woo! <laughs> Sweet vehicle, bro! <laughs> Turn on your sirens! <laughs> Here's an outrageous idea. Yeah. No, don't say it. Wonderland? No, <laughs> yeah. I know what's coming. How, How about, about we love, love some, some letters? letters. I've got to keep doing the police noise now. GG stand up Steel Wars in the house. Yes. Just for everyone on the Hurtsbridge line, when we said we were going to do the letters, Gordon just wiped a large amount of sweat off his forehead. Well, I did feel like my story was, was becoming misappropriated, but, you know, <laughs> that's comedy. Yeah, let the record show. Yeah. There's audio to prove. To the story prove. does have a nice ending, but no, do your fucking yeah. letters. Leave me a dangling. Happy, a happy ending, Gordon? <laughs> <laughs> is that a. 
it's a, it's a perspective thing. It's only happened yeah. to one oh, person God. in that story. Yeah. And a lifetime of terror to another. Happy for one, sticking to the other. All right. <laughs> That's a lot Sorry. Of- Sorry to crucify you like this. Oh, um, I'm just going to sit here quietly until someone reads out a letter. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Green Guide Letters, I was at a bodybuilding competition the other day and a bearded man with a very posh accent. Man, I went to one, well, you're not alone, I went to the Arnold Classic a couple of weeks ago. And there's a heap of crazy weird, like the tan, you know, they spray on tan. They spray the gold. Yeah, yeah. I fucked seven bodybuilders when I was there. <laughs> you're doing it wrong, and bro. Yet, yeah. And yet I'm the monster. <laughs> yeah, they're strong, they can fight back, but they, they lose, they haven't got the stamina. They put all of their effort into looking big and not being good at wrestling. I I, I should say you're pretty cleanly shaved, so yeah. watch out for Gordon. Yeah, I will. Yeah, he's got a boyish charm about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah. just try on this karate outfit the, for the me? The thing is, like, my pubic hair is completely grey, so Ew. that's going to change some things. It's a he long died beard, him. very long beard. It's like a wizard. Yeah, I've got a wizard. You've got a wise set of balls. Yeah, why, wizard sack, as they call it. You named it Gandalf the Long. Yeah. Thou shall not come. <laughs> you shall not come. All right. <laughs> One cock ring. <laughs> so rule them all. See, the good thing about doing two a week is that I can put this up and then immediately put up the Another. one we do on Saturday. Yeah. So it's not the first one that like a new listener downloads. Yeah, I think I'm there's offended. a there's been episodes <laughs> in the past where if a new listener wandered along, it might keep them forever, or they'll never listen to a thing again. Anything, they'll actually just stay away from stereos. <laughs> <laughs> like they'll think they're possessed by demons. Yeah, they'll just quit hearing. Yeah, yeah, they'll just stick to taste. They'll just start licking CDs. That'll be enough. <laughs> so. This one is titled Midsummer Madness. Whoa. Just when I didn't think Midsummer Murders could become even more ridiculous, I was so wrong! Only slightly less weird than the existence of a well tended collection of exotic snakes. Gordon? What? <laughs> was the sudden pop-up in midsummer of a crumbling village that could have been evacuated during the war. I could write better episodes myself. And that is from Pamela Pilgrim in Hyatt's. Midsummer Murders, that's... That's one of ours, yeah. I, I keep snakes, was that the implication? No, yeah, you're I mean, an exotic snake. No, but like the candy ones for children. Um, <laughs> <but> <laughs> The, uh, the the war thing. Gordon's is Gordon's getting in on the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey! No choice. He's like, well, that's not getting edited out. It's fun. Uh, yeah. So, have you? Do you watch Midsummer Murders? No. Or, you... Nor Wonderland. That's why I'm just persevering with this story that's incriminating me about a kid playing karate near some bodybuilders in a church slash community centre. I didn't want to, but you're mentioning all these things I've never yeah. heard of. The war. Yes, there were some derelict villages. Now you heard of? So you've heard of the war? Heard of the war, mate, from the UK. Did we you, keep banging on about winning it, even though you, it was technically Russia and the USA. Do you have relatives who fought? Uh, my grandfather was a train driver in Turkey, which has a whiff of coward about it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he fought against fear evasion. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, you know, Turkey, which, uh, you know, I don't know what he did, just... What's weird is we knew him as Cookie Bear and he used to eat a lot of Turkish delight, so he obviously has fond memories of that conflict. How do you think that's weird compared to anything else that's been said tonight? Midsummer Murders. What's her complaint? That it is, it's just getting ludicrous. There's the existence of a well-tended collection of exotic snakes. Now... I'm not sure if she's got the problem with the exotic snakes or that they're being looked after. Maybe she thought it'd be more realistic if they were, you know, not ne- looked neglected after snakes. snakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what makes a snake exotic? It's just not from the country that it's in. Ironically, right? where's a boa? Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> very good. So it's an exotic dancer and it's a snake. <laughs> 
Yeah. Most snakes in the UK are considered exotic because the only indigenous snake, fun fact, that we have in the UK is the common grass snake or grass adder. Mm. Oh. Didn't one of your people get rid of all the snakes and then we drink that's on that I, day? That's Ireland. No, that's that's pa- St. Patrick. Same, same. Okay. Mm. No, <laughs> our, our saint is St. George who killed the a dragon, dragon that, that, that doesn't exist. It's yeah. And he killed it with a sharpened maybe, unicorn. Maybe if it was just a really, it was a really big snake and he just lied about it. Well, what it was, he was actually in the Crusades. Again, fun facts, I've done a history show. He was in the Crusades in what is now Turkey, where my grandfather rode trains. And what we think he killed was a crocodile, but then it's a long uh. journey home by sea mail. Yeah. And so... As he sort of continued his journey home, we go, yeah, I killed this big fuck off crocodile. And then by the time he gets to sort of the Bay of Biscay, oh, it's about this big. And then by the time he gets to Plymouth, fucking dragon, breathing fire, five heads, whatever. It's like that old children's game, Plymouth Whispers. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. It's yeah. like, shush, 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 shush. oh, you fucked a cat. Shush, 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 shush. Oh, no, no, it's a unicorn. Shush, 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 shush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a boy hey, who does hey, karate. Hey, what? Hey. <laughs> What's up? Nah, dog. You leave the cats out of it. Oh, God. Of all the things that would offend you, of course. What a, what a sentence. Nah, dog. Leave the cats out of it. I, fucking, I left it there for you. Yeah. That's how steel rolls. All right. How, how about this one? <laughs> oh, so is that? That's it. We're not going to talk about the snakes anymore. <laughs> you got more snake action? Go for it. I got a lot of snake action. <laughs> he me, says with his legs up spread eagle. They call eagle. me Bart Lull Snake Action, Mister Maximum. I don't have anything, but I think uh, <laughs> in this day and age, it's not too outrageous for someone to have an exotic snake collection. I know a few people that do. In this day and age, yeah, you're people. from Queensland, aren't you? Originally, Man, I am. I'm originally from Queensland. They have a lot of snakes. So, have you got an yeah. exotic snake collection or garden? If you own a snake, you're a fucking weird person. <laughs> Someone said I have a pet snake, which is kind of an odd thing because I don't think you can tame them, so they're not really yeah. friendly. And they're with not you. loyal. So, like, <laughs> hey, let's go slitheries. Yeah. I think you kind of can. Can you? Yeah. Oh. Can you put like a lead on them and then take them for walks? Slithers. The park? Mm. Slithers. You've got to pick up after the... Uh, Little snake droppings. Snake droppings. Yeah, and the old people that strangles to death and tries to eat. <laughs> 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 I think, uh, what do you think is more weird, and I don't want to uh, alienate the listenership, but snake ownership or wizard ownership? Either way, your house smells of dead mice. Oh, yeah. Because that's what they eat. They dig it. They like dead mice. Maybe the exotic snake connection is like she fed them organic free-range mice. Yeah. Or even fancy display mice because people do display mice. There's bearded dragons eat crickets. It's pretty neat. You can have a bearded dragon and probably less mammal death, which might be a thing. Yeah. It's a start. Yeah, it's, people seem to be... When it comes to mammal death, yeah, I would vote for less. People, yeah, people tend to get weird about things that they can empathise with and crickets aren't really very, you know, they're weird alien insectoid things. <laughs> I would kill a cricket and be like, that's what you, Meh. you, you get that cricket. Mate, Booney's a great Australian. There you go. No, that's true. And I see what you've done. But I... <laughs> I like I like what you've done, but for a small split second, I I thought you said booty is a great Australian. Booty is a great Australian. Like, hey, b- booties are universal. Yeah. All right, there are booties all over the world that we should be appreciating. I like the older version where it's just treasure. I think that's better. She's got a great booty. You're like, where she hide it? I'm gonna find the map. <laughs> <laughs> X marks the spot yeah. where the booty exits. Yeah, and you actually just get a shovel out and steal treasure. Did you sleep with her? Nah, man, but I got a sweet crown. <laughs> <laughs> you need to see a doctor about that. Yeah. Oh, man. Do I? Are you going to spew yet? I'm all right. I had a period <laughs> where Gordon was talking about... Uh, Being King British. Knight, yeah, the George dude, the dragon fuck. Yeah. Where I was like... Uh, there we go. It's just like this. <laughs> it would have been really huh. on in theme if you were talking about dragons breathing fire and you just go... Oh. <laughs> I'm a dragon. I breathe 
Very hot. Nando's. Yeah. Perry Perry Fire. Yeah. Oh, oh man, feels bad. <laughs> what did you have at Nando's so we know what to look forward to? Chicken chicken tendies. Oh, they're all gone, I think. Anything that comes up from now is just ideas, feelings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, regrets from the past. You know that point where you're like you've vomited and you've gone. That's it. And your body's like, nah, mate, keep going. And you're just like, oh, oh, there's, oh, nothing left. there's nothing left. Year eight. <laughs> yeah. They're <laughs> oh, oh, oh. yeah, just, yeah, shopping lists, you know, hopes. <laughs> Big chunk of soul. Yeah. Colours that haven't Fun been Fun memories yet. with dad. Ugh. Yeah. So I'm think, I think I'm all right. I might be, I'm not out of the woods, but I'm just like looking out of the woods like this. Hey, guys, I might just wander out into the, you know, savannah. But at the moment, I'm. On the edge of the woods. What kind of a nation is this that it has woods and savannah? Surely it would be rainforest into savannah. Or I think it goes from... Semi, <laughs> semi-tundra, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I, I, I would argue the savannah is a better place to spew than the woods. Yeah, true. I'm just saying there's a weird topography to your vomit. What was that word? Topography. Topo- to- topography. Is that as in typography? No, yes. it's, like, it's like take your top off topography. <laughs> Take your top off and I'll take a photograph. Is that yeah. where you're going? Uh, no, no, I think it's just like, I need to see these muscles you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if you noticed, I didn't say anything for the last five minutes. Yeah, because it's like tag one. team wrestling. Deal luck, take a break. I'm going in. Yeah. Right. And, and, and yeah. Just, everyone at home, I'm, I'm just looking at the ground sadly. So, how about this one? <laughs> Old news. President Trump's announcement of his appointee to the US Supreme Court is not breaking news. ABC Midday News, February 1st. As his appointee was known well in advance of the official announcement. Also, the announcement, at best, (coughs) deserved only 30 seconds of airtime. Not the 16 plus minutes out of the 30 minute news program it was given. And that is from Jim Poloski, Hughesdale. But anything you could be angry about with Trump related, that is the most esoteric, isn't it? The news isn't up to date. He's weird. I just like these, like saying, oh, we've got the new uh, Supreme Court uh, appointee. He just gets out his stopwatch and goes, this better, yeah. Seconds, mate. Yeah, come on. Are oh, you milking it? You're milking it, mate. But that's speed it up. I'm gonna watch Neighbours twice today. Isn't that, isn't that rolling news in general? Like, if you're there watching rolling news and you go, oh, I think I've seen this news already seven times. Maybe change the channel or just put the ice pipe down. Do something else <laughs> with your day. The, a lot of the problems I think well, that people are writing into with the letters is that they are. It seems somewhat chained. To conventional television due to their, their predicaments, age, their age and their lack of yeah. technological know-how. Oh they could, yeah, they would fuck a drone from the sky. Yeah, yeah. like uh, <laughs> yeah, someone. There's. I would not be surprised if someone wrote in and said, "I have to keep getting up and turning the volume up and down in the channels. When are there's going to be some kind of device that I can actually press a button and not have to go to my television?" So these suddenly, it's no longer a funny podcast. These are. Oh, God, you're monsters. These are bed-bound people chained to terrestrial television due to their predicament, maybe paralysed from the neck down, oh, and yet just, no, you give them these idiots. comical voices Gordon, and you just, lampoon them on a, on a long-running bloody podcast. They're just dumb cunts. Gordon is desperately to make out he's not the biggest <laughs> arsehole in the show. I tried to tell a story about... You didn't even get to the end of it. It's like, oh, hello, 20, 25 minutes. I'm sorry, Sri Lanka. I'm sorry, Australia. I didn't make the empire. You didn't, true. But your ancestors did. Correct. And you did. <laughs> I think. There's a fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> what is the end of the story? Well, it probably won't go to air, but let's no. just for the, for the reward the people. He, he was adamant that he wanted to be a bodybuilder, and I, I don't want to be responsible for him then going to his dad. I'm going to be a bodybuilder. Gordon said it was okay. So I tried to dissuade him by saying you have to do lots of exercise, that you have to um, sort of not drink alcohol when he's a kid. So I said, all right, all right, you're going <laughs> to... So you're now persuading wait, wait. him to have alcohol? No. For, for scrub that from the record. <laughs> I'm literally giving you further ammunition. Somewhere, Michael Jackson's like, oh, he's trying to do it without alcohol. What a pro. 
I bet he hasn't even got his own wonderland. So, so I eventually said, you'll have to give up chips. And he went, oh, I don't think that sounds like a good idea at all. And the day was saved. Chips, right. or if you call them French fries, as you call them. Oh, we say chips here. Yeah. yeah, so that was that was basically where the story was going. It was a fun story about carbohydrates. <laughs> I just, I think it's pretty cool, and it is a very weird subculture, undoubtedly. Bodybuilding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think a lot of people weren't breathing until they found out the end of that sentence. Yeah, man. <laughs> And now it's what's cool, Bart, please. As was my intention, you pieces of shit. <laughs> I am like a fiddle. Talking about news about Trump, the, the big news on Fox uh, last week was that he was going to stay in the White House and do work. That yeah. was breaking news. Because he's just been going and playing golf and hanging out and being a dick, which is... Well, standard, right? He's does he does he live sometimes in the White House? It's like he treats it as a sort of oh, I'll pop in for a few hours, maybe have a little sleep at my desk, and then go back to my. Doesn't he's seem like, like he's taking Costanza, it seriously. George and Costanza then go back to his loving trophy wife in Trump Trump Towers. Oh, yeah. I get the feeling wherever he sleeps is the White House. Mm. <laughs> That's very philosophical. Is that a cum joke? <laughs> <laughs> He paints it white. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I like the idea that as soon as he falls asleep, it's like everyone quickly does all the work, and then he wakes up again, and they go, "Shit, let him." Tweet. He just thinks it's elves. Yeah, yeah, the elves and yeah. the shoemaker style. Yeah. yeah. It, I think if you, if you did, have you seen the man who knew too little with Bill Murray? Yes. It's a good movie. It's worth checking out. But it's essentially. This happy idiot who just falls into the... They think he's a super spy. And he's just there thinking he's real cool. Yeah. On a... On like a... Like a play. Like a theatre adventure. I feel like that's Trump to an extent. Where he's like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. And everything around him is just happening. He's like, yeah, of course. So this is a play, right? This is... I paid $50. And I get to be president for three years. Do you think he's just waiting for someone to shout out, cut? Yeah. They go, oh, thank God. How did I go? How did I go? Yeah. <laughs> and they go, no, you've, you've just bombed Tunisia. Oh. Gordon, what's your favourite episode of Neighbours that you've watched twice? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This would have been back in the early 90s. So it was the era of a young Kylie Minogue who got married to the chap with the blonde hair. And there was yes, Bouncer with her owner, who was but the comedian Mark he, Little. Not, normally when I ask a question like that, people pause to think. <laughs> I was straight on it, no, because I smoked a lot of weed, so it felt like I'd watched it seven or eight times by the end of the afternoon. But yeah, uh, Mark Little, who was uh, Des, and he had a, all these young millennials are looking back at me. I'm not even going to bother fucking Googling this. Uh, and Mark Little, then after Neighbours became a comedian, and I got to meet him, and I got, oh, you know, how many dogs died? Because Bouncer was a long-serving dog, so obviously, uh, you know, have to occasionally oh. go, oh, Bouncer 7 is ready to be in Neighbours now. You brought in dead pets? Yeah, you could just taxi dam him and roll him around. That'd be pretty cool. How is that your favourite episode of Neighbours? No, I, I remember now. My, <laughs> no, I've got it, I've got it. My favourite episode of Neighbours was one where, for some reason, Bouncer had a dream... Oh. Do you remember this? Oh. Bouncer Street. Fuck yeah. One other oddball is amongst us. And uh, so the whole episode was a dog having a dream. Like this was, that's when they had some mushroom music, if you know what I mean. They did the music. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Wait, Can't play Biggie Smalls wrote a song about a Neighbours episode. That'd be great if you did. He did. Oh man. Really? What? It was all a dream. Oh yeah. <laughs> used to read Word Up magazine. Juicy guy. Go. That was the name of the song. Must have been a juicy dog. <laughs> a hot dog. It's all come round hey. to Simon Deary. <laughs> <laughs> so was the dream of the dog just running endlessly? Uh, I think he story. got into so doggy type escapade. So, you know, chasing cars. Yeah. Oh, there's a cat. I'm going to chase that now. Yeah. So it's like Neighbours when... I tell you what. It's like when Community had a cartoon episode. Neighbours kind of foreshadowed that. <laughs> All right. 
That is a fucked up episode of a, a song. Yeah, and also because I, I was smoking a lot of weed going, memory, is this happening? I've got a vague memory of Elsa from Home and Away opening a fridge and the ghost of Bobby being inside the fridge. Is that Has how anyone got not implausible? Is that how Elsa got her ice powers? Because <laughs> the ghost gave her the ice powers and then they're like, fuck, this is full on. She's like, nah, just let it go, bro. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. And she makes the ice castle. <laughs> I think Steel's not still switched on to what you're doing. <laughs> and I don't mean just in that moment, in life in general. Yeah. You still uh, haven't switched on to what body. I, feel, I feel like it's the wrong Disney franchise for me. Yeah. Oh. Are you more of a Tangled guy? <laughs> <laughs> Guess again. Yeah. She's got sick hair, it's great. And she's sassy. And... I mean, it's good. It's a good movie. So I was watching Wonderland. <laughs> you Surely the Aristocats would be the franchise you favour. Moana's Ooh, pretty good. That is good, actually. Moana's good. Yeah. Just don't, don't fucking drop some cat references. Well, I, so no, I, I realise that you've got this sort of, you know, sort of cat thing that if, if someone mentions cats, you... <gasps> but I've got a cat. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with this one. Oh. It is titled Keeping It Real. I want to see more reality TV. I want to see fat people in ads for fast food chains. <laughs> now that is reality. And that is from Ian Hethington, Moama. Wow, Ian. Hello, he's in a Disney princess. Oh man, I've got to, I've got to go, guys. I've got to go. I think it's going to happen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh! Oh shit! You know what happened? Spew, 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 spew. spew, spew. I reckon it's saying uh, fat people in restaurants is what triggered him. He just remembered what he had for dinner. Oh. Nick, would you care to fill in for the rest of the episode? Yay! Yay. <laughs> Nick Mason, you look younger from hey, set the controls for the heart of the hey, sun. Everyone. Internet uh, celebrity. Now, now I got here kind of late, so what, what, what's the context for that? What, what, what happened? What, why is he? He's, he's, a, he's a healthy, hearty man. What? That is what I'll ask him about. Doesn't it. seem fine. like he it. had a bad Nando's. Dodgy Nando's. Oh, Dodgy Nando's. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it every time. Hey, Dill. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. Hey, hey I'm Nick. Uh, good. I don't touch kids. Hi. Um, so. <laughs> Wouldn't have even ended my mind, yeah. but, but now I I'm just wondering. needed to. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, Nick, you've got a bit too much facial hair for Gordon. <laughs> the phrase protest too much pops to my mind. What me? Yeah. I'm just trying to steer this fucking ship away from you just down. brought it back. Here's the thing, I shit my pants once about ages ago and I told it once on this podcast. Yeah. But to date it gets brought up. So good luck, buddy. Dude, you shitting your pants was the best thing that <laughs> ever happened in your career. <laughs> No, me telling the story was the best thing. The shit in the pants is a very sad day. I've, uh, for those who are wondering at home, I'm very close to throwing it out. The official shirt nappy the, story. The pants. No, the okay, pants was gone. gone ages ago. Okay, the okay. shirt nappy, the shirt that I wrapped myself in. I've what, you kept to it as a memento? Close? I thought you were saying... <laughs> a bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were saying you were going to throw out the bit. But <laughs> oh. The shirt is still exists. That's incredible. You're thinking about throw, you're thinking of, you're announcing that you're <laughs> thinking about throwing out a shirt yes. that you used as a shit nappy. Surely cleansing fire would have been straight away not just burn the shirt but any witnesses this to is, the defecation <laughs> we, incident. We lost Jackie. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> she's gone to she's, check on Bart like a decent human being. I'm sure. Are you okay in there, Bart? Can I get you some more Nando's? <laughs> hey, that letter, by the way, could you read that out again? Because oh, I've okay, got a sure. theory as to who this person might be. Huh. The death on Moana. This one is titled Keeping It Real. As you know, because I've read it out before. <laughs> I want to see more reality TV! I want to see fat people in ads for fast food chains! Now that is reality! I have a theory that this person can't draw, but they want to be the Banksy. 
of the green guide mm. letters. It's like, yeah, just going to keep it real and make my graffiti, but yes. I can't do graffiti, and I'm stuck in the house, as we've established, watching terrestrial television, so I'm going to send in a letter to say, fucking yeah. I, I do like the idea of what they're putting out there, because I'm a large lad, and I love fast food. I just think those things should meet each other at some point. I've been campaigning for a KFC ad for a while now. Well, I just... I just once in a while people who follow me on Twitter get uh, uh, a response saying recommended for you because a KFC Twitter account and the one person that they know who follows it is me. And <laughs> they send me screenshots. Um, so I, I would I would do it. So advert. you follow KFC on Twitter? Mm. Do you ever drop a casual retweet? No, I I, I complained once. That their wing uh, at the Flinders Street one. Those wings weren't wicked enough, mate. No, they were wicked. They were small. Like I was like, this is ridiculous. Like I, I, I love this franchise. I don't want to, you know, make fun of it. But it was so small. I had to say something because I believe in it. And um, <laughs> and then what happened was they replied and said, wings come in all shapes and sizes, Dill. Don't like, be wingish. Fuck you. <laughs> Now, Nicholas Mason, Hello. You, you do a great podcast called The Weekly Planet, and yes. it's about pop culture, uh-huh. but normally on your show, when someone says, I love this franchise... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not as greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some, sometimes it is. <laughs> and, and, and you're wondering why you're, you're not getting the, the acting role, you're not getting the, the sponsorship. They, well, they've, they've blacklisted you. If you, if you send them... Brownlisted. Bl- they've brownlisted you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> just, I nearly got a spit take from Steel. I was so close to getting a spit take. I, I was mid Oh, off, yeah. shit. Damn it. You'll get there one day. Uh, but I... Um, yeah, look, maybe they have. But I, I still, like, you know, I believe in their product. I really like it. I'm, I'm less likely to promote McDonald's than I am to KFC. KFC, I'm like, I actually enjoy it. Whereas I'm, McDonald's... I'm, f- I'm followed by Al Pacin Cafe Bart and Mac, he's, You okay, bro? Oh. You okay, mate? Woo! Tell us what was in it. Uh, not much. Not much left. Um, um, but yeah, you definitely did spew again? Yeah, man. Real good. Did a great well, job. Um, <laughs> it's a great workout. Uh, <laughs> it's a, enough of a spew that all of my... Abdominals, like cramp, they cramp up and I feel like a prawn, like hunched over. I'm like... Rawr. Do you feel like having a prawn? Yeah. Oh, man, I want to eat prawns so bad when I'm vomiting in a public toilet. <laughs> Especially the expert toilet. Oh, heads and all. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm definitely not 100%. But I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I don't think any, any of us need to be a doctor to give that assessment. Yeah, yeah. The guy who just spewed twice. Yeah, I don't love that letter was great. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to be able to make it through the letter. <laughs> what do you think about fat people being in uh, adverts for um, fast food? As long as they're really big, like 280 Wait, kilos plus. And, and saying, this food is great. Yeah, definitely. All they did, nom, 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 more. <laughs> yeah, that, guy, that guy really loves cheeseburgers. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Like you would want to promote, like if you're promoting a food thing, you want to show, hey, people who love eating food are promoting yeah. our product. Like you know, you when you go past like an Indian restaurant and there's Indians in there, like oh, that's probably a good place. Or uh, so if, if you, you go, go past KFC, okay. and there's chickens in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, what, eating their own species? <laughs> this is a crazy place. They, they you, know, do. you go past a KFC and you just see white supremacists. And you're like, yeah. yeah. That's what you know. Was he racist? No, see, this is. I, 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 sometimes you don't want to learn that's too KK, much about K- your heroes. That's KKKFC. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I used to be in television back in the UK, and apparently McDonald's would always use small actors 
to make the burgers look bigger. Oh. oh. Did really? They like, did. I've like, heard, I've heard the burgers old, are bigger than Hunger Jacks. How old were the actors? No, Go not children. Them. Fuck off. Just small adults, which when you can't get a kid, that'll have to do. Yeah. And they would, they, they, they'd get small adult humans with smaller hands. Because if the Big Mac looks like, oh, fuck me, this Big Mac is vast. Whereas if you had a 280 pound per person just sort of popping it in like, oh, Big Mac gone. Yeah. It would look oh, like less prob- good value. So prob- those wicked wings would look even smaller. Oh, in my hands, they must have looked tiny. They must have been normal size. But just in my fat fist, <laughs> it looked tiny. Is that what you said? On a normal no, person, they, they would look like pterodactyl <laughs> arms. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, I just... It would probably be good because less people would maybe want to eat fast food. When I went to America last... Yeah, that, that's kind of the opposite of what advertising tries yeah, to do. Yeah, true, though. exactly. Yeah. When I went to the States, I was planning on eating so much crazy food. And at least two occasions, I went in to eat as many hamburgers as I could. And I saw someone who was very, very overweight doing the same thing. And I just went, nah, I'm out. Yeah, right. <laughs> and how many, how many have, have you had? I've, uh, still, on this podcast, I think you might have talked about one of your epic... Uh, burger lunches you two had together where you had like two or some or three burgers in the one sitting. I know I have one but like puts away multiple and, Maybe then, four. and, then, and then on the way out we'll have a thick shake or something. No he too. grabbed a burger to go he just said this. what's the most you've had in one sitting bar loss? Seven I reckon seven, seven what, burgers. What, what like normal burgers? Or yeah McDonald's just normal size. No like just normal size cheese burgers. Cheese burgers so yeah. Wow. Seven, seven burgers yeah. wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Worked up to it. Just hearing seven makes Gordon hungry for a total different reason. <laughs> oh, it was actually sorry. I got to change it. It was I, my words. It was one seven-year-old burger. <laughs> yeah. What a show! Please thank <laughs> our little lovers, Gordon Southern, Dilruk Jai Singer, and Bartholomew Freebarn. <laughs> Gordon, please let us know what magistrates will you be appearing in this week. I'm appearing in a show called Puppetry of the Penis. Uh, <laughs> it's at 2 p.m. It's a kids' show. Oh. It's <laughs> no, they're balloon animals. I swear. So, <laughs> it's an exotic snake. Do you really want me to plug my show after this? I'm a Margo. <laughs> I'll be. Pre- pre- <laughs> I'm performing at the Rolf Harris Memorial Theatre. <laughs> Dude, Rolf Harris isn't dead. Your career is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the Jimmy Savile octagon. So, I didn't ask for this. This was the first podcast you've ever been to. Is this at all what you expected? Okay, yeah, but yeah. was yeah, but, but not, ball. but not this, yeah. <laughs> but not this. Well, here's a question: Would you consider going to a podcast again? Oh, good. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's a, a win. Time. There was vomit. Okay, my show is called The Art of the Deal. It is uh, 7 p.m. at the Greek Center, uh, Thursday to Sunday. So come and see. Oh, 6 p.m. on Sundays. Thursday uh, to Sunday. Yes. Less shows. You know, less. Less shows. Less shows, more fun. Yeah, less show is more fun. So, yeah, come along. Uh, if you enjoyed this show, don't come to it. <laughs> um, because I don't want to see you ever again. <laughs> but? My show is called Wonderland. <laughs> it's called Super Cat Butt Mega Boy Goes to Wonderland. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it's about cats and good places. No, so my show's called Maximum Delicious. It's about food. Uh, it doesn't always work out, obviously. For me, today it didn't. I'm not going to be eating any chicken for a while. Uh, it's at the Imperial. It's on every single night of the festival at 8.45. Come along. And when you say every night, you mean it literally every night? Literally every night. You don't Mondays, take a break. I'm not taking a break. We'll, we'll see how I feel tomorrow after that. <laughs> So, but I definitely want to do it. It's Excellent. Yeah, I'll just take a bucket on stage. Sorry, guys. Bucket. That's not what a KFC bucket is for, bro. Oh, really? 
eating it and then vomiting it back into the bucket. <laughs> it's a very quick, quick cycle. I got given a bucket of chicken as a present uh, when I got good uh, results in my exams once. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did someone just go, Jesus? <laughs> it's true! I ex- my reward like, was more food. <laughs> it's like getting a cake. Yeah, 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 it's nice. Yeah, yeah. I get it's that. Just a bunch of dead birds in a bucket. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty twenty one pieces. Yeah, it's a du- it's a bunch it's of like dead a... bird parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even worse. Yeah, it was just the one chicken could have been. Yeah, you could even. Uh, add... But I specifically request just drumsticks. So it's like a multiple birds had to die. Weird Frankenbird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get my mm. exams worth. Mm. Uh, not twenty one pieces. It was uh, I think it was twelve. A twelve mm. piece back in Sri Lanka. My, um, so that's yeah. six dead chickens, right? For the drumsticks? Minimal, yeah. 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 Okay. Did you do drumsticks and do the wing action? <laughs> <laughs> it could be all. Gordon awesome. just did an amazing I feel like chicken tonight. It could be all left drumsticks, most likely. So it's all. Isn't that what Do- Daniel Day Lewis's film was about? Yeah. Yeah. My left drumstick? Yeah, all left drumsticks, yeah. <laughs> so the chicken survives and the drumstick grows back like a crab claw? Does it work? That'd be so. No, those that's are, Adam Hills. Those are chickens walking around in circles. <laughs> wow. My show is only on uh, till uh, next weekend. It's Enthusiast and uh, come see it. It was super fun tonight. It's awesome. Uh, thank our guests so much. Thank our awesome audience. Thank you guys you. were great. Um, what a bizarre experience this was and um, if the recording didn't work oh we're well, okay with fine. it <laughs> but thanks so much thank you put on some mad beats someone please I'm just so sorry to hear about this one Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that, whatever that was, with Dilrook Jaya Singer, Bart Freebarn, and Gordon Southern. Make sure you go see all those guys at the Comedy Festival. They are killing it. And as far as the Comedy Festival, if you are hearing this on the day of release, we're doing another late night show tonight, Thursday the 6th of April, with three Big time acts at the Comedy Festival. Uh, Every time I go past the chalkboard, I have seen them sold out. So it's going to be a banger. 11 o'clock tonight at the Exford. And then this Saturday, the 8th, it is our 250th episode with Ash Williams and two of our fave letter lovers off the television joining us for a ripper show. It should be the best. And my other stand-up show, or my stand-up show, Steel Saunders the Enthusiast, that ends Saturday. So you've just got tonight, the 6th, Friday the 7th, and Saturday the 8th of April. It has been such a fun show to do. It is at 7 p.m. So if you are coming to the uh, Thursday Late Show or the Saturday Afternoon Show times out pretty well or if you've just got time on friday what i'm saying is any day's a good day you guys because we wrap up and uh that will be it for the festival for the stand-up shows as i am going to america over the easter weekend to do some star wars media work then we'll be back for the final weekend, uh, Thursday night, the uh, 20th at the 11 p.m. back at the Exford. And uh, we've already got some great guests for that one. And we've also got some Ripper guests for our final show of the festival, the 22nd, Saturday the 22nd. So uh, these will be the last live shows in Melbourne for a little bit. So uh, get in. It has been super fun and uh, hope to see you at the shows i my other podcast steel wars my comedy star wars podcast will be podcasting all through easter as i will be at the star wars celebration where they're gonna have the next uh star wars trailer be released there's a big 40th anniversary event with lots of returning actors it's going to be the best time and i'm going to be hyped 
on that. So uh, if you want some enthusiasm, which is the title of my show, Steel Sawn is the Enthusiast, there will be uh, plenty of that on the Steel Wars feed over the Easter week. And I hope if you are in Melbourne, you're enjoying your comedy festival. If you uh, are not in Melbourne and you want to support the cause, give us a retweet, uh, share us on Twitter. And at the end of the festival, our Patreon will be launching, which has already every episode ever of I Love Green Guide Letters loaded up and ready to go. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about that because our Steel Wars Patreon has been so successful. And uh, so it'll be your chance to uh, support the team. Cannot wait to see you guys at the live eps. But now, and just choose wisely if you want to hear this secret show. I'll give everyone at home a bit of insight. Green Guy the Letter Lover, Mick Mason, is up the back, and he just uh, he left. Mace. He left for about ten minutes. I think he took a phone call or something. And 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 quite often when you're in a podcast, you can go, "Well, I'll listen to this later, so mm. I can leave for a second. But I guarantee you, you missed a lot of shit <laughs> that will not be in the podcast. <laughs> what I, I would say your loss, but your gain. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you run off to? Do you have a tram to move or something? That's... Uh, <laughs> See? Phone call. I know. Phone I know pod- the podcast, uh, the culture. Yeah, yeah. And as you Nick quite- Mason, did you receive the phone call? No, I'm not Pink Floyd's drummer. Leave me alone. Because... That wasn't a fun fact. It was a fact. It was, <laughs> it was far from fun, but at least it wasn't Pink Floyd. Is that your name for your cock? No. <laughs> It's a good name for you. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a good name for a cockatoo as well, to be honest. I, can, I can't wait for the tweets. 40 minute secret mm. section. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Are we going into the series? I just assume this is going into nothing now. After <laughs> <laughs> we've driven it so. Well, can we Mr. Black the stories? We can't, can we? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, Ellie just hit me. This is getting recorded. <laughs> Did you, just, you, like, did you just think this was top banter? <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of comics hanging out talking shit. Do you usually Had talk directly into a microphone all the time? Like, let's go. Oh shit, there's a microphone in there. Right, off we go. <laughs> who saw the Who saw the rolling news? God, that went on for a bit with Trump, eh? Hey? Unplugged your microphone. That was dedication. <laughs> I, I do have friends who just show up with the letters from the from the newspaper that they just read out at the pub as well. In this voice, <laughs> and you're cool with that. Yeah, All right. I mean, I'm. Who can come to this country and judge my lifestyle, man? <laughs> Did you feel like, all right, okay. <laughs> I just love that you're just literally doing mental edits and you're like, nah. You shook your head. You didn't realize. You just went, uh. Uh, At the moment, I'm mentally editing some life decisions. (laughs) (laughs) I should have been a dancer. (laughs) (laughs) I do love pirouettes. Um... I do love providing evidence in court. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> wink. You said wink without winking, <laughs> which, like, because everyone on the Hertzbridge line. No, but I know it's a. I know it's I, a I podcast. I know the medium of podcasting. Yeah, but I, you I could, could taste it. I could taste could, the you wink. You could taste the wink. <laughs> yeah, I smelled it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> was that the original Skittles campaign? They went too too creepy. Taste, taste the, the rainbow. Wink. Don't taste the wink. Taste the wink. Do you want a Skittle? Wink. Do you have Skittles? Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. 
So, you know, if you go to... No, no, no. He's not in... Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Oh, man. This is... Mr. Black. Try some... Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Fuck up. Mr. Black. That's the... Isn't that the... Production... Pretty sure I've, that's the phrase. I've never seen that ad, but I'm yeah. not from around here. I'm prepared to believe. You remember the theme it's song? It's not Gordon's fault. He took Mr. Black as an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Is that that's a different thing? Oh, that's no, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, it's pretty legit. Uh, to answer what you're all thinking, I don't know how I'm going to edit it either. <laughs> <laughs> The tricky episode seven, yeah. season five. Up late, three minutes long. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so. Gordon watches neighbours. What a dick. The end. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes like unicorn. Zip, uh, ready, ready, zip, <laughs> yeah. ready, uh, I do. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. I've been still. Oh, Saunders. you sound like a CD that's been scratched. Yeah, to man, fuck. that was I've brilliant. I've enough to know. It's like a unicorn CD, a yeah. unicorn set about it. Yeah, going. Oh, I prefer just... vinyl. I'm a fucking old school unicorn. Yeah, don't give oh, me that CD yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You appear to have steered the ship right back to where we got it from. It's Dil. like D Dil Rock is going. No, no, we're not going to go anywhere different. She didn't. I mean, she Dil, just... Dil, we need something to put <laughs> in the front of the show. <laughs> I can see that look in his eye. Not tonight, mm -hmm. mate. Uh, I reckon this is a long bow. Coming from me, that is a that is a really horrible thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> all, these, all these comments are going to be separated by three seconds of silence. Yeah. Just, bloody hell, no. deal. Let it go, man. Anyway. <laughs> Memo to self, says Steele. Never do these late at night. <laughs> it's too late. He's already registered four of these, haven't you? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Two left. The pain in your voice when you said that. <laughs> I'm coming back for the Easter one. I'm fucking. I'm just. I'm just gonna yell from the back. Well, that's the, that's the one that we're not gonna be there. Oh, really? You should come. I, on the last one, I fly back from America Whoa. that day. So come do that one. You can really torment me. <laughs> Wait, why are you flying to America midweek, mid mid festival? Yeah. Wow. What's what what have what's what's going on? Needs the air have, miles. Have, have a guess. Have a guess why I fly to America in the middle of the festival. Star Wars. Ah, uh, cat, cat, cat con, cat convention, <laughs> cat, cat, dress up as cats. Is it cats? Is it cat? Cats, cats the, the musical, musical is opening in LA. They're reviving Cats memories. the musical. Follow this spell and you lose your memories. Do you need to feed your cat? <laughs> You're flying to America to give Jerry some food. Do we need to feed the cat? <laughs> Cat's bed. They've, they've got, they have been here for a while now. I think we can get rid of them. <laughs> oh God, speaking of getting rid of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> there was... Mr. Black. Sometimes both at the same time. Well, Mr. Black. Could be a good... Mr. Black. So... <laughs> Is that it? Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Push it over the edge. <laughs> After all this time, this is it. It's the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> um, my show is irrelevant right now, let's be honest. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you now. I want to go back in time. <laughs> Before, can we redo the podcast again? Can we just assume none of this happened and we'll all just... How much hey time do we guys. have?